welcome back. All eyes are on Virginia ahead of Election Day. And if you're in Maryland or D.C., you're wondering what's with all the ads. Well, trust me, there's a lot of attention nationwide for the races for the state house and Senate. A lot of the local ones, too. My guest tonight, Miles Coleman from the University of Virginia Center for Politics, up late with me tonight on the Final Five. Uh, this has to be like the Super Bowl for, for you and Larry and everybody else down there at UVA. Oh, sure. You know, they, this is one thing I like about Virginia is, you know, we have some type of election every year. I mean, it's great for my job security, but it does mean a lot for uh, folks in the Commonwealth that as well. Let's talk about what we're seeing right now, because, I mean, I, we've had a lot of these candidates on the show, and, and there are millions being raised and spent on, on even some of these House of Delegates races out there, and we've seen the ads left and right. Why, why so much attention? Why is Virginia always seen as this off, off your bellwether? Well, you know, I think for some of us in the, the pundit class, which I identify with, uh, with myself, you know, we're always looking for signs of, you know, in these off-year year elections, you know, based on the states we have, what can that tell us for 2024? So, um, and I would say you have some very important issues that are going to be decided in, in this campaign, like abortion, crime, uh, education, all that stuff is on the line here. We know that Governor Yunkin really uh, struck a chord uh, at this point two years ago uh, when he looked at what happened in Loudoun County when we had incidents happening in the schools there and parental rights became a very, uh, very popular uh, buzzword and a cause for him, which not just swept him, but Jason Miaris and Winsom Sears into statewide office. Uh, and also, when you look at the governor's approval ratings, he's been doing quite well at the midpoint here. So is Glenn Yunkin as popular as the polls might suggest he is? So I think with Yonkin, you know, there was a recent poll from Christopher Newport University, which had his approval at 55 percent, which is pretty good. So I think the big question for Yonkin is he's popular, but he's had to deal with a divided legislature. I think there are some voters who, who are still thinking, OK, well, I like Yonkin, but if we give Republicans everything, um, you know, I might not like that as much. So I think Yonkin... One of the questions is if voters just see Youngkin as a different type of Republican. Mm -hmm. When I talked to the governor about two weeks ago and, and we talked about the issues, you mentioned abortion off the top, something that, that obviously has gained so much attention after Roe v. Wade fell. The governor favors this 15-week uh, a, no, a ban after 15 weeks. Uh, it seems as though many Republicans echo that. Democrats have seized upon that. Every ad says, hey, look, a ban is a ban. So, you know, a, he wants to say abortion maybe is not the, the topic one for many people, but it is an important issue because as Virginia goes, perhaps we might see other states follow suit uh, as we go through the South. Yes, and, you know, really in the whole South, Virginia is the last state with relatively loose abortion laws. I think Youngkin's challenge here is he's trying to take an issue which is often talked about in very black and white terms, right? You're either pro-choice or pro-life. And he's trying to stake out this middle ground. Mm -hmm. So if it's successful, I could see other Republican campaigns uh, using that next year. We'll see if it works, but... Yeah, uh, as Democrats look at this race, they put made that the, the 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 agenda item. But on the Republican side, it had been parental rights. We're seeing a lot of ads about crime right now, uh, whether it be the, the rise in crime, which we have seen. The state the state police put out their yearly report where we're seeing certain incidents of crime on the rise across the Commonwealth over the last couple of years. Uh, is that going out of those two, crime or, or education? What have you been seeing more as topic A for Republicans? Oh, I mean, basically, they've been really emphasizing both of those issues still. I mean, it seems they are still very much using that Youngkin 2021 playbook. Now, we'll see if that playbook needs any updating after this selection, uh, but that um, they are really running on those same types of issues that Youngkin stressed. One other thing that, that I've seen is, you now in Virginia, oftentimes here, as you all know, in the DMV, politics is very national. The Republicans have often tried to tie Democratic candidates to an unpopular Biden administration. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no doubt about that. As you look at those approval numbers, which clearly the governor has the, uh, the edge when it comes to approval. Uh, but as we look past next week, if Republicans are somehow able, if they if they do flip the uh, flip the state Senate, which right now is in Democratic hands, if they have total control, a lot of people uh, believe that maybe this could be the precursor, this could be the push that Youngkin is looking for to possibly raise his national profile. Does Glenn Youngkin have? Is he looking at a national profile based on what happens next Tuesday? You know, it would certainly put some wind in his sails. I would say that you know, my kind of take on that is, I think for 2024, it's getting a little too late. Um, you know, he hasn't really helped to quiet some of the rumors that he may run. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that 2028 is, it sounds like it's a long ways off, but it's really not, especially yeah. in Virginia, where we have elections every year. Yep. And, and by the way, the one thing that Governor Youngkin can do to quiet all that is when people like me ask him, are you looking at 2024? You say no. He said everything but a flat out no. But you know what? That's how politics goes. Miles, I got to leave it at that. Good to see you again, my friend. Good luck next week. I know it's going to be a busy one. Thank you all so much. Great to be back. Our pleasure. The final five back right after this.